Good morning. I'm pleased to welcome you to this video. If the lesson is useful to you, you can subscribe to the channel for more teaching videos. Today, I'm going to read a research article on the topic or written on the short story, Golden Orion written by Suri Malikarnaratna, which was presented in an international Buddhist conference, 2019. Published by Pixie University of Sri Lanka, Anuradhapura, Sri Lanka. The title of the article is Perception of Sri Lankan Buddhist about Karma with special reference to the short story Golden Oriole written by Ikuni Suyamali Karnaratna, written by Vayachuan, myself, and P. Kamsatrani. We will, we will read the article now. Perceptions of Sri Lankan Buddhist about karma with special reference to the short story called Nauru. Introduction. There have been various questions, interpretations, and beliefs about nature of human births, course of life, death, and afterlife phenomenon in the world. Karma, a Sanskrit origin, has been one of such concepts commonly accepted by Eastern religions such as Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Jainism, and Taoism with various explanations, beliefs, and arguments. For the ideology karma or the law of karma refers to actions and results, and cause and effects associated with rebirths of humans in this world. Over the time, it has gained various meanings and connotations by people following those religions as luck, destiny, and fate. According to researchers, people's belief about karma contributes in shaping their psychological and behavioral patterns in life. Moral judgments, moral emotions like guilt, shame, and empathy, cooperation, social inequality, and self-regulations. Some other researchers point out the relationship between actions and the consequences. According to them, good things happen in humans' lives due to their good acts and people encounter bad experiences in return to their bad conducts in their life. Karma has been central for the ethical path of Buddhism, according to another researcher. According to the theory, good and bad actions decide the life consequences individuals undergo in their lives. Theravada Buddhism, one of the oldest surviving branch of Buddhism found in Sri Lanka, teaches an individual can enjoy his or her positive rebirths through his or her good actions and through merits in that a person can offset his or her negative karma. So it is the finding statements of a researcher. Data analysis. There is no point in pursuing things that are not destined to take place. 
one should accept one's karma, fate as it comes. These lines are taken from the short story Golden Oriole, written, written by Sui Malikan. These lines are uttered by the mother character in the short story, where she discusses about her daughter's wedding with, with her other members in the family. When the mother character expresses her unwillingness to give her daughter to a widow in marriage, through these lines, she predicts her daughter's future with her own belief of karma. The lines show the association of faith with the concept karma in the speaker's minds. According to the lines, people experience positive and negative karma due to their faith in their lives. Here, karma stands as a negative force in humans' lives. Further, the writer emphasizes its importance of acceptance without giving any other optional parts in individuals' course of life when it occurs. See how one's karma works. This is also taken from the poem, from the short story, God in Oriel. Just think how long you had to wait to meet the correct man. The above lines are spoken by the mother of the, of the female character, Ms. Bidane, in the short story, when she finally finds a man to marry her daughter after a long period of time. This family has been portrayed as a typical Buddhist Sri Lankan social unit, where the members are engaged in Buddhist religious pujas and rituals in a routine basis. Through the above line, the writer expresses the belief of positive karma associated with encouragements, blessings in Sri Lankan Buddhist philosophy. The lines show the ideology of luck which has been linked with the theory karma in the thoughts of the people. Further, it has been understood that the man has no control of this life phenomenon and the same decides all the life encounters and possible times to happen in everyone's life. One cannot force karma to make things happen that are not determined to happen. This line also is taken from the short story, God in Aria. These lines are spoken by the aunt Beatrice in the short story, who has been portrayed as a matchmaker for the female character and others in their families. This line is uttered to Miss Danny when the aunt informs her about the unexpected breakdown caused at Miss Bidarni's proposed marriage. Here the aunt uses the concept karma to console the female teacher who has just become a victim for the marriage customs in the short story. According to the speaker, the life has been predetermined by karma upon one's birth, and humans are powerless in redirecting its results in the life. Conclusions. In conclusion, the writer, through the characters in the short story, portray the perceptions of Sri Lankan Buddhists about karma which they perceive as both positive and negative forces in life, predetermined for individuals with luck and fate upon their births and thought by matured individuals at joyful as well as miserable life circumstances. These are the references for my article. So, You can read this article, which is available in the university website. If this lesson is useful, you can subscribe the channel for more teaching videos. I will meet you in another video. Thank you.